All right, you know, so every now and then I, I'm surprised by something, and uh, I'm going to share uh, that surprise with you guys. Uh, several videos I ran across on YouTube. Shoot, you can find anything you want on YouTube, and and as far as I'm concerned, it just it you know the innovation that people come up with is is incredible to me. It blows my mind, and you know I've been a little down on the vertical axis wind turbines in the past. Uh, I want to show a few things today that. Um, to me really impressed me and, and has given me hope for the future of the vertical axis wind turbine I still hold true so you know thus far that the horizontal axis wind turbine is more efficient okay but uh, you know the more I dig into these vots the, the more I'm kind of digging these new designs you know especially these new designs well enough talking let's check out the first video that I have for you guys okay and I have one of the sails mounted it's just held in place with uh, black electrical tape. And let's see if it'll turn in the wind. I'll turn the fan on low speed. And here we see it. The sail has collapsed at that point. And there it opens. Pretty dang cool, if you ask me. And then he proceeds to put a few more on there. And I'll show you what that looks like. There, I think you can see quite well how they're collapsed as they come around on the left side now i wanted to mention this uh, video comes to you by jim's cool stuff go check him out um it's worth watching i mean uh the videos that he has are, are very cool I, I think he's very innovative and he's um he's showed us a, a new design for the drag type vertical axis wind turbine and and, and you know and i love stuff like this i, I really do it, it shows that people are using their head now here's another one um now i looked online there's quite a few of these online uh this young man i'm assuming he's a young man uh he goes by smart servo check his uh, uh website out he 3d 3d prints a few parts and puts some things together he has all these electronics to uh, presumably measure speed uh but uh but i'm not sure about that it almost looks like maybe he's powering this device with something uh, i hope that's not the case because you know some of us know about the magnus effect you know um and he uses that here to to propel this thing and this is particularly exciting because it uses the principle of lift and um and it, it doesn't suffer necessarily if i understand the physics right it doesn't suffer from you know when the turbine blade comes back into the wind because with the Magnus effect, it wouldn't matter. It, it's still going to produce lift regardless of which direction the wind is coming from. Uh, let's check it out. Start testing. So here's an, his initial testing. You can see that he has, uh, apparently the orientation is incorrect, and, and you'll see that as, as he tries to start incorrect this thing up. Incorrect rotation of the rotor so that it is not aligned with the wind direction. Modify the phase angle parameter and try again. They've actually used this concept to, um, in the place of sails for sailboats, um, and, and reportedly it worked pretty good. It was like right at the end of the sail sailing age. Um, and, and that's where I first saw it. And then, of course, I saw some people making model airplanes using the Magnus effect to produce lift and with varying results. The phase is correct this time. Windward and leeward sides rotate in opposite directions. It rotates quite smoothly. Yeah, and, you know, if this thing works... Um, 
like I think it will. The neat thing about this is this limits a lot of the stresses that wind turbines um, have, uh, vertical axis wind turbines, because they have that oscillation. Um, there's been a lot of uh, issues with that. Um, so, but anyways, let's watch the rest. Well, let's watch a little, a little more of it anyways. He's got some device under there measuring RPM. I'm hoping that's not like a motor driving this thing. I, I don't think it is. Anyways, it, look, it's exciting stuff, guys. Um, there's a lot of innovation in the VOT industry, the vertical axis wind turbine industry. Um, you know, the horizontal axis wind turbines have some innovation still left in it, but they've seemed to have settled upon a design that's like proven. And, and so, you know, mo you know, most of what you see in the commercial industry is, is that proven design. And, you know, with the, with the right amount of blades, um, you know, the airfoils that they've chosen to run these things with and, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but uh, the vertical axis wind time uh, wind turbine is is so varied in in its in the direction that it's going. Um, somebody's going to come up with something really good, and I think maybe this guy's got it. Um, I I like this design. I just really like this design a lot. So, but you know what? I'm learning more and more. Just I'm learning so much from you guys, my viewers, in the comments. You you guys have great comments. What do you guys think of these? Have you guys seen any new? innovation in in this industry that perhaps you can send me a link to and, and and i can check out for myself i mean we're kind of in this together aren't we i mean if we're searching for something that's going to be you know really efficient and you know because the one advantage that the vat has that i've acknowledged in the past is it can take wind from any direction even simultaneously wind can be coming here and there very dirty very chopped up wind whereas a hot has to take time to turn into the wind and if and if it has dirty wind it, it's just it's you know it loses a lot of its efficiency i mean that's the reason why we have to spend so much in infrastructure to infrastructure to get them up high up in the air and so i'm digging this stuff i'm digging it i i'm you know thanks to you guys you, you guys in your comments have have convinced me to maybe look into this a little bit more and i'm, I'm getting excited so anyways that's it for today guys hit that thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're a first time viewer and you want to see more of this type of stuff. Um, and we'll see you next time.